My name is David Schubert and I'm a senior majoring in information technology at Florida State University. I've always been interested in fields that combine education and technology and I'm currently working as the technology coordinator at an elementary school in Tallahassee, Florida. In this video, I'll demonstrate the process of creating a podcast using Apple's GarageBand software. The video is aimed at teachers, but it can be used by anyone new to podcasting on the Mac platform. There are a few things you need to check before beginning to make your podcast. Do you have a modern Apple computer produced in the last couple of years with a built-in iSight camera and built-in computer microphone? Is it running Mac OS X as the operating system? Is it running GarageBand 08 software and photo booth software? And most importantly, have you already prepared your podcast script? The first step in creating your podcast is creating the podcast artwork. To do this, we'll use the Photo Booth program. Photo Booth is usually located on your dock, and it looks like this. If you don't see it there, open the Finder and look in your Applications folder. When you open Photo Booth, a preview of the picture will show up here. Click the icon that looks like a camera to take your picture. It'll count down from three, flash, and take your picture. Once your picture's been taken, you can close the Photo Booth program by clicking the red circle in the top left-hand corner of the application. The next step is to create the GarageBand file. GarageBand's icon looks like a guitar, and it should also be on your dock. Again, if it's not there, you can open it through the Finder in your Applications folder. Once GarageBand opens, choose Create New Podcast Episode to create a new file based on the podcast template. You'll be asked where you want to save your file. The desktop is fine. And you'll be asked for a file name. Type in a name and click Create. You'll see the file appear on your desktop if that's where you saved it. And then the GarageBand window will open. The next step is to insert the, the podcast artwork. GarageBand will automatically pull the pictures from Photo Booth. You should see them here in the media browser. Click the photo you just took and drag it onto the podcast track. This track holds artwork for chapters of your podcast. Also drag the artwork to the square that says drag artwork here for the episode. This sets the artwork for the entire podcast file. Now it's time to actually record your podcast audio. Before you do this, make sure that you're familiar with your script. Then click inside the dark gray portion of the track that corresponds to your voice type and click the red record button. This enables that track for recording. If the icon's not red, you need to click it again. Next, press the record button on the toolbar down here to begin reporting, recording your podcast. Speak loudly and clearly into the microphone by facing the computer. When you finish recording your podcast, press the play button on the toolbar to both pause the recording and pause the playback of the track. To review what you've recorded, press the go to the beginning of the song button and press the play button to play back what you've recorded. Finally, when you've finished recording, you're ready to export your final podcast. At the top, click the share menu and select Export Podcast to Disk. Leave the options at their defaults and click the Export button. You'll be prompted again for a save file name and a save location. The desktop is fine. Click Save. GarageBand will combine your different tracks into a single file and save it on the desktop. And now you're done. To close GarageBand, again, 
click the red circle in the top left corner of the screen. It will prompt you to save your podcast project. If you think you might want to come back and edit the podcast by changing the photo or adding music or adding another voice track, click Save, and you'll save a file that, pod, that GarageBand can edit. If you don't think you'll need to save it and you're happy with the exported file, then click Don't Save. Congratulations, you've just completed this video tutorial. Be sure to download the podcasting manual that goes along with this video from my website at www.davidschubert.net. For more information about GarageBand or to learn about advanced features, visit apple.com slash support slash GarageBand. For more information about podcasting in general and to find several resources, visit google.com and search for podcasting. Before you can share your podcast with parents, students, and the rest of the world, you'll need to find a hosting provider. Talk to your school's technology specialist to find out what options are available to you. And finally, be sure to visit my website for ed other educational training videos. I hope you've enjoyed this video presentation. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. You can reach me using the contact information located to the right of this video. Thank you.